Rachel Hope for Nesson.com alongside Doug Kide here at Gillette Stadium. And today we heard from Patriots Director of Player Personnel, Nick Casario. And truthfully, we didn't get all that much out of him. <laughs> yeah. He's like Bill Belichick in that way. He didn't offer anything on Jimmy Garoppolo or Malcolm Butler, but not all that surprising. No, certainly not. Uh, he's, he was definitely asked, you know, you have to ask the question, are you going to trade Jimmy Garoppolo? Any movement on Malcolm Butler? So, you know, I understand why the questions are asked, but no, not a lot there. He also wouldn't open up about whether the Patriots would draft Joe Mixon, the controversial running back out of Oklahoma. Wouldn't say whether the Patriots are or are not going to pick up the fifth-year option on Brandon Cook. So a lot of those newsworthy items he did not hit on in this session. One of the things he did say was that the Patriots have a small pool of draftable mm -hmm. players, around 50 to 70 guys. Does that surprise you at all? Uh, it was surprising that he actually let out that number because we've never actually heard that before from him or Bill Belichick. But it's actually not overly surprising that it is that small for the Patriots because they have a tendency to take some serious reaches in the draft. And I think that this kind of helps explain it a little bit with the guys like Deron Harmon, Tavon Wilson, Jordan Richards, guys who really aren't expected to go until the sixth or seventh round. Patriots take them in the second or third round, and it's because they hit all those marks the Patriots look for to actually make them a draftable player. So it's pretty interesting that you know, a quarter of the players drafted next week are not going to be on the Patriots draft board. Uh, a lot of the guys probably taking the first round probably aren't going to be given draftable grades by the Patriots, but it just shows the high standards that they have and players that they bring in here. Along with the theme of the day, he didn't really offer what position they're targeting in this mm -hmm. one. Is it safe to say there's going to be some surprises come April 27th? Yeah, I think the fact that they don't have a first or second round pick also really makes that difficult to predict because you don't even know who's going to be around for the Patriots at 72nd overall. So I think they really could take pretty much any position with that draft pick. I think their biggest need is probably at defensive end, pass rusher, but you know, they don't have a ton of needs on this team. They can just kind of fill in the depth holes that they have. So, yeah, it could pretty much be any position that you can imagine. I think the biggest surprise would be quarterback, but they've even brought in quarterbacks for, for workouts here. So it is definitely going to be pretty unpredictable for the Patriots in the draft next week. Okay, well, we'll see what happens next week. Before that, you're heading to the White House with yes. the Patriots. So make sure you keep it on Nesson.com for all your Patriots news.